One thing about anime that I've always respected is anime teachers. These guys are always cold, hold it down for the MC, and are content with just playing the teacher's role. Not every ninja is gonna be the Okage. Somebody's gotta train the nigga. The real question to me is, who is the best of the anime teachers? So, I mean, there's a lot to pick from as well. Like, you have Jiraiya, Rayleigh, Urahata, Master Roshi, and as cold as these guys are, and I'm not gonna lie, these niggas are cold. To me, there's a better candidate. And that candidate is Reborn. First thing I'm gonna do is explain what the Arco Beleno are. The Arco Beleno are a group consisting of the world's seven strongest. And each of the seven are the strongest at a certain discipline. So for instance, one of them is the best martial artist. One of them is the most indestructible. One of them is the smartest, that type of stuff. And for Reborn, not only is he the strongest Arco Beleno, or the discipline he's best at is being the best hitman in the world. Looking at the series, you're gonna wonder why he's a baby, but basically, the Arco Blano were adults at first, but they were cursed, and the curse caused them to become babies. So these niggas are cold. Don't forget that shit, right? Reborn's main task in the series is training Suna Yoshi Swada. So to get an idea of how chopless Suna Yoshi is, think about the biggest loser you've ever met. For some of y'all, maybe it's your friend, maybe it's your sibling, maybe it's you. If it's you, you got a tee up, obviously. Think about the most chopless nigga you know. Multiply that by 100, and then you get Suna. So I'm talking about no Riz, he's not good at sports, he has no friends, he's terrible at school. Like this is the definition of not that guy. If you ever had a trash ass teacher in school, you know that sometimes it's not necessarily the difficulty of the lesson, but sometimes just the, the method of teaching. So if you ever had like a math class and it's like, damn, I can't understand it. Then you get a different teacher and you're like, shit, this is easy, but the teacher just asks. One thing about Reborn that I think made him one of the best teachers in Shonen is that we see him kind of teach other people throughout the series and Reborn is able to tweak his teaching style. Reborn knows what buttons to press for Suna, and I think that's a really, really important part. Unlike a lot of other MCs in Shonen, Suna's main issue is him drawing on his true strength. It's really, really hard to see at the beginning of the show, but as the show progresses, we see that Suna's Loki kind of, when you squint your eyes kind of hard, he might be that guy, even though he's not that nigga, you know what I'm saying? We get to kind of see the growth of Suna standing up for himself, throwing himself in harm's way, and that's under the tutelage of Reborn. In the last arc of Katsuki Hemen Reborn, we have the other Arc of Beleno, and basically they join this representation battle for the sake of breaking their curse. But we learn during the arc that Reborn's entire purpose for him joining the battle is just to see Suna grow and develop more. In the arc, we see Suna face off against his father in the first fight. I'm not gonna lie, Suna gets his ass handed to him on a silver platter. Like, it is bad. The nigga basically gets one shot. The second fight that Suna fights with his father, it's starting out pretty similarly, and then Suna's starting to lose his will to fight. And I think it's an important thing to note that Suna's dad, we don't see much of him in the beginning parts of the series, but we really get a idea of it in the last arc, but Suna's father's a deadbeat. I'm talking like some gin type shit, like that nigga was not at the house. You know, we know Suna's a very emotional person, and we see those emotions cause Suna to kind of be softer in the battle. And I'm not like, he's getting his ass handed to him. So this nigga Reborn got to go do what Reborn does, you know, the coldest nigga in the verse. He steps in in the battle. Something really, really cool with the arc is that during this arc alone, the Arc of Beleno gets to break their curse. So temporarily, they can turn to their adult selves and aid in the battle to free their curse. So Reborn breaks his curse and he fights Suna's dad. And the whole point of, of Reborn fighting Suna's dad is not to win the battle. It's just to teach Suna important lessons. During the battle, he basically gives him two important lessons and that's it. He basically let Suna continue battling. And that shit is like night and day. This man Suna's like a fucking animal when he fights him again. We just see how great of a teacher Reborn is. Obviously, I'm not saying people like Jirai and Udahara aren't great teachers. To me, it's just crazy that Reborn, as he is, he's just able to kind of push Suna's buttons in, in a very instant manner. Like, it's even noted by the main villain of the arc. Throughout the entire series, the main villain basically points out that Reborn has been the one severely speeding up Suna's growth. One of my favorite moments in the series with Reborn involves the one time he actually didn't believe in him. We find out about the truth of the Arco Beleno, and then after the truth that Reborn learns from Bermuda, he basically figures out that no, no matter what happens, the Arco Beleno are, are doomed to die a dog's death, essentially. Like, like these niggas are going to die. It's not going to be pleasant. After learning the truth, he basically tells Suna, there's no way you can beat these enemies. And Suna kind of retorts like, bro, I don't understand. You've always believed in this whole time. And Reborn's like, yeah, I believed in you because I knew you could do it, even when you couldn't. But this time, I don't think you could do this shit, so just stop. It's actually crazy because we get to see Suna kind of like pull this shit up and, and be a real nigga. If you don't know, this whole series is about Suna becoming the Mafia boss, and that is Reborn's mission. And obviously, throughout the series, throughout the arcs, we see Suna doing it little by little. But to me, the moment when he does some real Von Gola boss type shit is right here. He gathers all the people we've seen throughout the entire series from friends, former enemies, basically every prominent character we've come across, Suna basically unites them. When you think about what a Von Gola boss is for the series, that is what Suna's supposed to do. 
We even get a panel where Suna basically had everyone from Italy under one roof. It's one of the best panels in the series where Suna's like, I want you guys all to fight for me. It's like niggas that you think wouldn't listen to him, but it's like, Suna called, all right, I gotta respect this nigga. We just kind of see how far Suna's come, basically. And then after that, we get one of the best scenes for Suna and Reborn in their dynamic, where Reborn's basically telling them, I don't know why you called everyone from Italy. There was no point. We're not gonna win this battle. It's, it's useless. It's a useless fight. And Suna actually scolds Reborn. He's like, bro, why are you acting like this? Did you build all these bonds knowing that you die a dog's death? You're a failure of a home tutor. You've been teaching me stuff all the time, Reborn, but it's time for me to teach you. I'm not gonna let you die. Obviously, shout out Suna, because that's some real nigga shit. But we kind of see that, you know, it's a coming full circle, because Suna was being poured into by Reborn. Reborn was teaching him all these lessons. In Reborn's time, I wouldn't say need, but the time that Reborn needs, you know, to be poured into, he needs the knowledge, he needs the accountability. It's Suna who's doing it, and that's as a result of Reborn's teaching. In short, Reborn basically helped change Suna so much that Suna could become a man that could later down the road change Reborn's line of thinking and give him the resolve to keep fighting, and that's what a teacher should do. These teachers aren't perfect. I just want to kind of point that out because I feel like people in the comments might be thinking like, how is Reborn the best teacher in anime when his own student called him a failure? But honestly, Suna standing up to Reborn showed he had backbone. Reborn even acknowledges later on, like, Suna's becoming how I wanted. That's also a whole thing with accountability and stuff because Reborn's like, the kind of man you become in this arc, that's all I've ever wanted. That's the best anime teacher. You can't convince me otherwise, bro. Like, at the end of the day, Reborn truly only cares for Suna to step up as the Von Gola boss. Towards the end of the series, Suna kind of points this out where he's like, Reborn changed my life. It wasn't just strength or morals, but everything about Suna changed. Obviously, he still doesn't have any riz and like he's still a bit chopless, but now when some of his aspects are still lacking, he has this family and group of people that he's met along the way throughout the series that Reborn has kind of helped cultivate this big group of people to help him whenever he falls down. That's what the best anime teacher would do. When it comes down to it, there are a lot of anime teachers that are top tier, but there's only one Reborn. Don't forget to check out my Discord in the description, obviously, and like and subscribe for the video. More content on the way, but uh, I'm out, so peace.